You have yourself a well, nice day. We can do a special offer for you, sir. The legendary white power. The arena is the place. I can't believe they haven't got any tickets left. I know. I came all the way from Oak Vale. Ah. Everyone knows the best fighters. You come in to spectate or participate. Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the Guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes! If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. 
Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins you prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Our great super... I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You killed the legend. Is the place for you? There he is. Avatar.
Yay! Yay! I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You killed the le- Worshipfulness. Wonderful. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You killed the legendary White Balverine. The arena is the place where the Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. Bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man. You look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. I want some ale, please. Right, I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Ah, round one. 
They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh, buzz. Buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Avatar, famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Quinkley. Like our other brave challengers, this up-and-coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round. An old arena favorite, it's the Wasp That earns 100 gold. The next round will be worth 500 gold. He may be new to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs. Three. Two. Go, go, go. One. Die, hope. Go.
That's another 500 gold. 600 gold earned so far. And there's another 1,000 up for grabs in the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team rounds. Two heroes, side by side, fighting together for their very survival. And there's been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend, Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valverines? Three, two, one, Valverines, go!
You have reached famous status. in the bag. And there's another 2,000 on offer for the next round. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. The next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the Undead! Three! Get off, Two! One! Uh, get go! thousand gold I reckon it was they've earned three thousand six hundred gold but will they stay for another round to net them another three thousand the competition's hotting up we've already lost three heroes well it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous it's round five, and here they are. 
spared from the headsman's block. Let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Three, two, one, go! Almost killed this one. Three, two, Amazon. one, go, go, go. 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 Cool, 3,000 more gold for that. They've banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, cops, balberines, and even undead.
What next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha! Three, two, one, go! Oh, how's do they want another eight thousand gold? Things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winning? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the rock trolls, Stanith and Groin. Three, two, one. Boom! Stand up, you go. big stone! Boom! Stand up, you big stone!
Wow! Another 8,000 gold! 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Another 10,000 gold! This is for a massive total of 28,600 gold! 
We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. <laughs> Do it, farm boy. We agreed. Just walk out. We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. I haven't got much fight left. You win. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady... If you would only li- Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss.
This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time, they married and had two children, a girl, and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion's seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Hey you, Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. Yeah, well, I suppose he did all right. He certainly dealt with Whisper. Yeah, you gotta admit. Wow, you were superb. I couldn't believe it when you took down that scorpion. I'm going all brilliant. I made a fortune on you, my friend. Here, have this. Uh, right. Uh, you were all right. I always say Oakvale breeds the best fighters. You Master, Yay! always a pleasure to serve. Yay! Hooray! Yay! Whoa! Yay! All right. Thank you.
So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Check the guild for more quests. Have a good day. Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in.
Welcome to Barstone North, hero. This is a quiet district and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside of Mention. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. Master, what a pleasant surprise to see you. Ha! Someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches, and I'll be executed! Yes, finally! We're going to bring that crazy witch down! All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them, I've seen them, we've all seen them! Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. I'm not crazy! The truth wants to be free! Mm, friendly looks great. Right. It's Ha-ha! you. Hey! Listen to me! You're all doomed! I uh, hope your visit is swell. <laughs> Want to drink? Hey. Again, hello there. Hey. <laughs> Very good. Ah. You. I'm glad you came. I wanted to talk to you before I go. You hadn't heard I'm leaving the guild. 
My brother wanted me to be a great hero, but, well, you were always one step ahead of me. I had to work so hard to live up to his expectations, but you always made everything seem easy. It wasn't till you spared my life in the arena that I realized how jealous I was of you, and what a good friend you've been. I'm sorry I was so tough on you in training. The truth is, you've always been the better hero. Just don't tell my brother I said that. Chase those horrible minion things. <laughs> ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You should give Chase those horrible minion things. <laughs> Have a nice visit. There he is. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You should give Chase those all minion things. Yes, I'll come with you. Said every day would be a little better. He lied. Oh no, not again. Another bony adventurer seeking to plunder my riches. 
I'm not interested in your meager frame. That I won't be stop being a pies. Meet yourself large. Life is... Amanda? Yes, of course, I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the grey house cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. Rodri, is that you? I've waited for you so long and I... Wait, you're not Rodri. I prayed that he would rescue me, but he never came. When the air ran out, I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. Now I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened.
So, now you know the truth. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You can still have me. Wouldn't you like to be mayor? Think of the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. What? No one refuses Lady Grey. No one. You're just like the rest of those imbeciles. Infecting my city with their petty little lives. Fine then. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. But I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that, hero. You have yourself a nice day. Well, Good to see you. you at the top. I am so You're excited to see you. Yes. Oh, Hooray. yes. Hooray. Wow. Oh, Hooray. I am so honored. Give me some beer. Ready to help? Some scallywags you trade will. between the shops some to beer. themselves gold. You Give me some beer. Ah, there is an important quest card of the guild for you. Unbelievable! So Gethin was right all along! Oh, I suppose we'd better release him. He'd better not start that nonsense about me spiking the water supply again, though. No. We'll have to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth, after all.
be of assistance. You've come to the right place. Come to the right place. Get after those awful minions on the cliff tops. Ha-ha! <laughs> Would you like some company at all? Hooray! Ha-ha! <laughs> Would you like some company at all? <laughs> oh, lovely. A marvellous Hooray! night out. a nice person to be seeing. Hero! Enjoy the rest of the day, sir. What a nice chap. Thank you. 
Taylor's tragedy would be perfect for our after-school drama society. What strange land is this to which the storm my body has delivered? Surely heaven it is. And I be dead, for as in a dream I saw the ship torn. From neath me by the waves and felt death's fell kiss. But hush now, who comes here? Truly my eyes doth deceive me, for I thought I saw some strange thing move amongst the wreck by the shore. Now I know that I'd be really dead, for in this fair land do angles tread. That's angels, Billy, not angles. <laughs> The way of the warrior doth take its toll on a hero's face, and ere long women will fly and escape before <laughs> he can give chase. Scarred and dejected, a hero named Ralph stole all of the traders' riches. He made use of their gold and bought romantic gifts for all of the... ladies. <laughs> the women of Albion fell at his feet, and Ralph had the pick of the town, till he finally chose a pretty young girl and bought her a fine wedding gown. But too late did he see that love that is true isn't founded on wealth. His wife's only care was for money and gems he kept up on the shelf. By way of divorce, Ralph exercised his axe on her head. This he did mount up Yay! on the wall, just over the bed. So did the woman sadly become the world's first trophy wife. And Ralph did give up the matrimonial for the hero's life. Ah, there is an important quest card in the guild for you.
could be like you, Avatar. Wow. Ooh, do you have a donation? The Trigger Mist. Uh, don't you think my students are a little too young to learn about castration? Any books for yeah. the book of spells? Have a good day. And so the hero married. And for one day at least, the troubles of a hard world were put aside. to have married you? Yes! I really do hey. love you, you know. I'm so happy. <laughs> I really do love you, you know. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love you. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love you. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> I really do love you, you know. <laughs> We're man and wife. How lovely. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yes. I really do love you, hey. you know. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm off to bed. You gonna follow? Let's go to bed together. Oh! 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 That was nice. Mm. I'm the luckiest girl in Albion to have married you. Thank you. 